Well hello, my name is Mark Davis Starr and welcome to I'm Alive Animation. Today I'm rigging long hair bones for my new character Mona. Hair bones? Yep, hair bones. I'm alive. In the last video I rigged Mona's face and we discovered that her hair was looking really rather cardboardy and flat as she turned her head. Uh, so we need to make that just look a little bit more alive, a little bit more natural, and certainly a lot easier to animate. So let's rig some hair bones. We actually have an issue with the with the hair. It needs to hang and dangle, and it's she just looks like a kind of a really weird kind of moth, car cardboard moth. And we're going to try and fix that hair so it kind of acts a little bit more natural. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the head bone from the main layer. So this is not so that's the head layer where we have all the the bones that control the face. I'm going to go up a layer where I've got the other bones for the rest of the body. You can see the rest of the body there. And I'm going to highlight the head bone and I'm going to delete it because I don't need that anymore. The uh, job that that head bone would have done is now going to be taking place inside the head body. And you'll see that it automatically, um, that layer automatically bound to the next layer. Um, in or the the parent bone of what was the head bone there. This is a this is already a bone layer, so I'm just going to create replace that bone in the head layer, and I'm going to take away the bone strength. At this point, I'm now going to bind all of these layers to that head bone, so everything is going to be bound to that head bone. And we'll go down there. Eyes, of course, and the eyes are in a group, so I don't need to worry. The shading of the head as well, the nose, and of course the head, and the inside of the mouth. And so those won't move. Now, don't do the hair sides. Okay, I'm going to release the hair sides. Right. So everything now is on there. So the same, the same job. Oh, I've got a. Here we go. There's something that I didn't, didn't check. We've got to make sure that that bone is not parented to any other bone. So if I, um, I'm i in the bone layer and then just check, I can see it's bound to the smile bone. So with the head bone highlighted, click anywhere and it gets rid of that. So then we can actually see the head, head is moving and I need to now bind the, the, the hair to the bones. But before I do that, I need to create some more bones because I want that hair below um, that are attached to the head to kind of move a little bit more like they are uh, like dangling hair. So this is, we're going to add some bones so that we can control that hair nicely. So um, I want the hair to kind of stick to the, the cheek. So I'll, I'll keep the bone about there and I'm going to create a new bone. Actually make sure I'm doing this right. Make sure the head bone is highlighted because I do want it, the, uh, the head parented to that bone. And I'm just going to draw a couple of bones in here down the length of the hair. That end bone will be bound to a couple of those. I am now going to highlight... Which bone am I highlighting? Yep, that's correct. That's the hair bone. <laughs> and then I want to... I'm just going to add another one there so I can have something to bind those two to. Back to the head bone and I'm going to bind the other side of the hair. And I think I will put the bone there. And where it kind of makes sense where the big bigger pieces are and that one there that should do me okay I'm gonna get rid of all of the the bone strength on that one and then I'm gonna do exactly the same wherever I am highlight make sure no bones are highlighted and then I'm going to highlight their bone and do exactly the same thing again pretty close it doesn't have to be identical I think I clicked too many times there. But I'm going to do basically the same. No, that's in the wrong place. So if you do something wrong, just a quick uh, control Z on your keyboard, you're good. Okay, so I'm going to Alt, click on the head bone again, just so I can then do the next series of bones. I want to try to keep her fairly symmetrical. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit out. There we go. And we may have to move some of those bones. Um, as we start rigging, they, maybe it maybe it'll work first time, uh, but it 
almost certainly won't. We'll have to do some adjustments, but whoops, get all of the power off all of those bones. Now, the fun part is we now have to bind the points on the head. So, hair sides that comprises the side of the head and the bangs you can see are right there. Those are already bound to the head bone, and we'll get the head, the sides of the head there. Gonna pick the points binding or bind points tool and I'm going to select the head bone, so it's Alt, click on the bone, and then I want to highlight all of the points that I want bound to the head. So I am going to click, select all those, hold down Shift, and I can do the other side of it as well, and bind points. And then this comes a little bit fiddly, but fairly straightforward though. Uh, click the head bone, one of the, uh, the the new hair bones, and then highlight the points that I want selected, connected to that bone, and it kind of makes sense. Yeah, I mean to be obvious, I've deliberately left the joint between two points, so it's there's no guessing where at least some of the, or most of the points need to go, and I'm just going to keep doing that until I've got them all done. Okay, a little bit of a hesitation there wasn't sure what to do with this area but we'll see we'll see if this works and I'm just gonna pick these remembering what I said I was gonna do and we're getting there right so I'm just gonna keep going around here until we've got them all and if the bones and the points are in the right place, there will be very little else we will need to do. There's a couple of things we do need to do, but very little. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Oop, bind points, I think I unbind there. Keep going. And bind points, Alt click the next bone. And bind points, Alt click the next one. And I've got to make a decision. Can I do that one? Uh, the fact that I'm hesitating on some of these points means I'm almost certainly going to have to delete some or move some points around so that the, the rig looks good. Okay, I think that's fine. Yep. Um, so there's no, there's no real science test. You'll figure out what works and what doesn't. And I'm going to. I'm anticipating a problem here. Right. Well, let's do a quick test. How do the how does the hair look? Okay. So that's moving fine. That is. So I've got to remember then when I'm animating. If I'm animating this piece, I've got to animate that as well. So you can, you can kind of see how that that's that can work there, right? So that should be fine. I'm not seeing anything breaking there really. Everything looks good there. Yeah, so that point is, uh, we've got the Bezier points there of making the hair do stuff. That's fine, I kind of like that. Doesn't look too bad. And then when this one moves in, we can do something. Like, okay, we have an overlap. That's a problem then, isn't it? So I think I am going to get rid of one of these points there. Okay, and we'll see how that looks. So if I move these around again, okay. That's not quite as drastic then, is it? Okay, we still have that point, that problem there, but I think we, could, I think I can work around that. Ugh. So I think kill that one. Okay, this is much art. I don't have a an immediate plan for this, and I think that's good. But I want. Okay, I'm going to select that bone and I'm going to re... Oh, that one looks like it's in the right place, doesn't it? And I'm going to try and bind that point to the other bone. And I think that's a little bit better. It's not wonderful. Pull that out a bit. Okay. 
And okay, so that's a little bit better then, right? If I pull that one out and go um Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that'll work. Just gotta be careful what I use now. Right. This is the trick. So we're almost done actually. Uh, the trick then is to highlight oh sorry, um highlight the uh, the base bone on the hair. We've got four of those. I mean, we're going to do just all four. We're going to go to angle constraints and we're going to call it independent angle. And we're going to do that with all of those bones. And we don't have to hit close while we're doing these. Good. And then if I go out here, you can see that that hair is kind of. I've still got a. Okay, up. Make sure I pick the right tool, and you can kind of see how the hair is moving a little bit. That'll help us when we're when we are moving the head. We will, of course, have to make some adjustments with the bones. We could try. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try it then actually add independent angle to the other ones as well. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, let's see what that looks like. We're out there now. Pick the correct bone tool. There we go. All right. So there you go. It kind of has a bit of a look to it, doesn't it? Okay, we'll do one final test before we're done. I'm just moved on to the bone layer just to see how everything works together. This is the main bone layer for the for the body. And I'll turn the hair, which looks good. So if I then go into the head layer, turn the head back with the bone transfer tool. Oh, it's all screwed up. Now I think I know what I did wrong there. So I'm, I'm going to leave the, the keyframes where they are. So this should resolve itself because I'm actually going to add something to the rig now. I think that what I need to do is uh, I earlier deleted the head bone now, and I think I did that incorrectly. So let's try that out. Um, I'm going to add that bone back. So I'll highlight the neck bone, put the head bone back. I'll take off the bone strength. And then I'm going to take the, oh, actually, I'm going to color that bone just so I don't get confused. Blue stands out nicely. And the reason I colored it was because I know we've got another bone on the other layer and they're going to get very confusing very quickly if I don't color one of them. Uh, so what I want to do is take the, the um, head layer group and I bind that to the new head bone. And now I'm going back to the body again. What I need to do is on that on that new head bone, I'm actually going to change that to an independent angle. And yep, we should be good. So then if I follow that move, well, the head angle I've got there is a bit a bit goofy, but you can kind of see how that's a little bit better there. Let me get rid of that animation. Right. So we'll, we can see that head kind of now moves the way one would expect. We'll get the head in a bit more of a natural position. And you can kind of see how that works. And this way, if I straighten the head up here, you can just see how that hair just moves a little bit more naturally where the body is. Actually, a lot more naturally than where the... Here we go. So that's that fix. Now, just to make life easier when we're animating, we don't ever need to... Um, react with this bone again because we, it's we're never going to move it because we have it as an independent angle we want it to be up and down so i'm actually just going to hide that bone so we'll highlight that bone there make sure you're on the right layer that's the new bone the blue one and i'm just going to click on the shy bone and it disappears then i don't have to worry about that again so then this will still move the way i want it to i'll just reset everything here and i think you'll yeah so we'll uh we'll move the neck and you'll see the head stay still We'll move the, the head from within the head layer. And there we go, right? We got a little bit more of a natural feel. That's how you rig long hair. That's Mona's hair. Well, that was a quick one today. Hope you found it helpful. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought. If you have any suggestions for future videos, also comment. And while you're down there, commenting, I mean, while you're down there commenting, grow up and hit subscribe. Don't forget, if you can imagine it, you can bring it to life. Oh, I'm alive.